Good afternoon. A suspect in a high-profile double murder was in court today, but not on murder charges. Ronald Santiago was sentenced for a white-collar crime. News 13's Diana Salceda is live in the Newsplex with more. Jessica, Ronald Santiago is a suspect in the murder of John and Bernadette Olemacher back in 2005. He pleaded guilty to forgery and tampering in a separate case that prosecutors say links Santiago to the Olemacher murders. Now, today's sentencing was on those forgery and tampering charges. Santiago was working as a loan officer at Countrywide Mortgage back in 2006. Prosecutors say he was stealing from his clients, including the Olemachers, forging their checks. He faced 13 and a half years. Santiago's attorney asked the judge to take it easy on his client, pointing out Santiago turned himself in and admitted to what he's doing. Now, one of the victims in the case disagreed. I'm advocating for the safety of our community and for my own safety that um, he be given the, the full period of time. He's a first offender in a white collar case for which there was no financial loss. Obviously, it caused the bank's grave concern uh, and, and they took care of it. Now, District Court Judge Neil Candelaria suspended all 13 and a half years, and Santiago will be on supervised probation for five years. Now, as I mentioned, Santiago also had dealings with John and Bernadette Olemacher before they were shot to death in their West Side home in 2005. Police and prosecutors believe Santiago swindled the Olemachers in a refinancing deal, then killed them to cover up the crime. Back to you. Okay, Deanna, the Olemacher murder case is pending in the state Supreme Court for the second time over a question about search warrants.